to Summer Dreamers Mindful Eating Yoga and Media Camp. We're going to explore um, yoga and mindfulness and I'd like to introduce Basically you. mindfulness is the ability to put your attention on your sensations in a very intentional way. When you put your attention on your sensation, you develop a, a focused calm when you do belly breathing. You build four different parts of your brain when you do this. And, and doing this practice on a routine basis for two months changes the structure of your brain in ways that will build your st attentional stability as well as a sense of calm and relaxation. It removes stress. It's a stress management technique. And it's a technique which will help you basically be healthier, promote a sense of well-being. So I'm going to first show you the four different parts of the brain that change. Your brain, believe it or not, is in three different levels. There's a brain stem, which is the oldest part of the brain. And then there's an a, a emotional center or a limbic system of the brain. And then there's a prefrontal cortex, which sits on top. It's the newest part of the brain. This part is called the neocortex, or the PFC. And at the very front part of that neocortex is something called the prefrontal cortex. And the prefrontal cortex is where you, it's the sketch pad of your brain. It's basically where you do problem solving and symbol manipulation. It's your creative, imaginative, portion of your brain. It also does social understanding and social problem solving. In addition to that, it's the area of the brain that produces emotional regulation. So if you do this practice of mindful breathing, which is basically like playing catch with your attention, if you do this practice every day, it builds your capacity for paying attention. Within two months, it'll change the structure of the PFC to make it thicker. There's another area of your brain called the amygdala. And the amygdala is about the size and shape of an almond. And it's in the limbic system. And basically, it's sort of the alarm, fight or flight center of the brain. Um, whenever you have a judgment or a criticism about yourself or about another person, this area of the brain, the amygdala, lights up. Within two months of practicing, this stress management technique for um, of belly breathing. If you practice this for two months on a daily basis, the amygdala will shrink. This area shrinks, and so there is actually less capacity for producing fear responses. Another area of the brain that grows stronger over the course of two months is the connection from the PFC to the amygdala and to the limbic system. And then there's a fourth part of the brain which all of the information of your sensations comes through. And so if I am to close my eyes and think about what my body's position is and all of the sensations that are coming through into my awareness, through my body, that would come through the insula. And the insula is sort of in this area right here. I'm not gonna draw it because it'll just get too busy. But the insula itself, you can imagine, would be extremely useful to have a larger, richer, more active insula if you were an athlete, such as an Olympian or an elite performance athlete who would, uh, their athletic performance is enhanced by having a larger insula. And if you practice for two months, a body scan, which basically is reading your information in your body, then it will get larger. So there are four different portions of the brain which change over a two-month period. And the most important of those, for our purposes, are the prefrontal cortex, which is this area here, and the amygdala. So basically, the PFC is what the part of your body which would tell you to calm down. It's, it's sort of this, the executive in control of all of your complex behavior. Whereas the amygdala is sort of the center of the fight or flight response. So those four brain structures change. Practice, which is very simple. And so basically we're going to review that. And it takes about a minute to do this core practice of 
mindful breathing.